Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna do a brand new guide for super people uh, that ju just has been released. Uh, my previous guide was from last year and they had a lot of like technologies in the game. Uh, you can now use the LSS Reflex. They also have like the new Intel XESS. So we're gonna look at best graphic parameter for this game and also how to optimize Windows for this game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the record uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphics setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have a, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for NVIDIA, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is, sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have four gig of RAM, eight gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's gonna make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32, just divided by two. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2%, 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game. So the first... Uh, display setting that you need to change it's your display mode make sure that you're playing exclusive mode uh, the, the borderless mode is a bit weird in this game it's causing like stuttering and stuff like that so I'm not a huge fan 
use exclusive mode for your resolution make sure that you're using the native one so if you have like a 1080p monitor just go with 1080p if you have a 2k monitor go with 2k after that for the ups and playing or different technology you have three different options for sure if you have the dlss your uh, nvidia card is compatible with it use it it's pretty good you will have a decent boost and uh, your image quality will be decent also for intel also you can use it no problem if you want more fps don't hesitate to using it you also have a third option called temporal up sampling uh for other card that's not compatible with dlss or access from intel not a huge fan of it honestly it really depends on how many fps that you have i recommend to do my old guide if you're still struggling with your fps test something like balance or quality uh you can expect like eight percent boost in your fps with this but not a huge fan of the visibility i prefer to just disable the temporal upset and playing but it's more like a last resort thing you uh you're struggling to have your 60 definitely test that out if you have uh, also an nvidia card i recommend to use the reflex over there for vertical sync i disable my v-sync uh i'm using i have a monitor uh free sync monitor if you have free sync g-sync just disable your vertical sync you don't need that if you don't have those technologies and you have a lot of tiering when you're playing you can definitely activate your vertical sync but you will add input lag in your game when you do that sharpen is a question of preference i just go with two i unlimit my fps but anyway my fps are locked with my radiant software i'm locking my fps at 168 because i still want to be in my free sync range uh, so it really depend don't go too crazy with unlimited I, I see a lot of people with 60 hertz screen they're playing on the laptop and they just put a maximum frame rate unlimited after that they have like thermal issue and they start stuttering in games so super important to look at this I also I limit my frame rate in the lobby to less heat in my computer so that's why I'm locking it for the FOV I'm playing at 100 but more you will add FOV more you will lose FPS so definitely just test it out start at 90 if your FPS are decent just go higher if you're struggling test 80 just lower it and you will see a nice increase in your FPS for the texture, I recommend to go uh, with the amount of VRAM that you have. So just make sure that you have 10% empty and you will be fine. So depending on the amount of VRAM that you have on your card, just lower this and follow this bar over there. Shadow. This one will be the um, parameter that will provide you the most of your FPS. So Shadow, if I compare Ultra to very low, you can expect 20% boost in your FPS. So go with very low. View distance is important in this game. You want to see people. You want to see further in front of you. If you have like a low end PC, start at medium. Uh, look at your FPS. If you're struggling, go with low. If you have like an high end computer, go with higher. Ultra is taking a lot of resources and is also causing stuttering. Not a huge fan of Ultra. So that's why I'm playing high on mine. Uh, and with my other rig with the RX 480, I'm playing at medium. And it's pretty, it's fine. After that, the foliage, uh, first of all, go with very low, nice 8% boost in your FPS. And also, it will help with visibility to see enemies. Effect, also, I recommend to go with very low. Uh, a lot of drop in FPS with the effects. So, that's why I recommend to go very low. You will not necessarily see an increase when you're just walking in the street. But when you're fighting, it will be a lot better. So, super important to go with very low. Shutter quality, the majority of the people can run medium and high. If you have like a recent hardware and, and it's pretty good, just go with ultra. It doesn't take a lot of resources. So even if you have like a very old computer, just go with medium and you will be fine with the shader. Anti-aliasing, I recommend to go with very low. Uh, first of all, it will provide you a nice 9% boost in your FPS if I compare with ultra. And uh, your visibility will be a lot better. Uh, the anti-aliasing in this game is trash. Everything is blurry when you're using it. So that's why I recommend to go with very low. Post-processing, pretty much the same thing. Go with very low, a nice 8% boost in your FPS. And also, visibility will be better, less blurriness. So super important to go with that. Depth of field, you never want to use that in any first-person shooter. So disable it. Advanced global illumination, go with disable. You can expect a nice 3% boost in your FPS. Rendering style, I'm just going with cozy. You will not necessarily see any difference in your FPS. Uh, it's more like some kind of like filter uh, for the rendering style. For the DirectX version, so the API, you have two options, DirectX 12 and DirectX 11. If you have something recent, like four years or more recent, definitely go with DirectX 12. It's a little bit better. 
And DirectX 11 is more for like very uh, like old computer, old hardware. You sometimes it can be surprising. You can expect like like 10, 12 FPS more when you're using DirectX 11. So definitely, if you're not sure, just test it out. Do the difference. Don't touch anything else. Just change your API and look at your FPS, and you will see which one is better. So this is pretty much it, guys. If you have any question about Super People, just come in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.